Make sure you guys check out the t-shirt shop. We get a bunch of new designs and I think you guys may like them. It helps support the channel and I thank you guys immensely. Enjoy the video. But yeah, like I said, you know how I like to go to the beach? You can't, because you don't want to do that if you're trying to do 100%, which is something that I love slash hated about platformers, that there was areas you can go back to and explore the world, especially in this one, it's necessary. However, I don't like the Forbidden Jungle because it's a big cluster of things, and I don't know if some of you guys love this area, but for me, I mean... It's unique, you need areas like this, it's just never been my cup of tea because of like everything just cluttered around here. You got these type of snakes, it's weird. Snakes, you got thorns, you got booby traps, you got these platforms, you got boxes scattered around. It's weird, but it still fits the game and you still have to do this before you get to the, um, the good stuff in mastering the beach. Not saying that you can't go to the beach, I'm just saying that if you want 100% you have to go to the beach and goddammit. Try to go back up, and then make a Jack! Yankee boy, come on, Jack! Come on, be like Samurai Jack! And there's just so much of this game that I feel like just exploring, like, I never go through this waterfall, and you got all these traps with these piranhas ears. But, every area you can have a glimpse of what you find to make you happy, and that's something I really love. We're gonna uppercut you. We're gonna head around to... Whoa, this frog is huge, can I... Where's the spikes? Wait, the spikes not going? I don't even know why I was able to kill him there, but okay. Probably spikes retracted. We got lurkers. I just killed Let's what I would say is my first one. Wow, I just uppercutted that. So, these are the things I loved. The fact that you can go to areas, fix something, and it travels across the world. And you're about to see what I mean about that in a second, but... Before you smash this thing, you always want to remember, grab this, turn around, you're gonna head over here. Open this door, it's not even labeled. I like that, I actually like that. You have to explore the world, they're not holding your hand too much, especially if you turn off the tips. Um, but you can use this power for more things, however, it's just cool to see what they did. They made a lurker machine here to gather the eco energy, I'm guessing. And it's coming out of this machine, but I'm gonna smash this mirror that they use to set it up and bang them. These this area is full of so many side missions. You it's, it's unbelievable. That's another thing. It's like packed all these things. Yeah, we know that we're gonna fiddle with them, but That's the thing it's like they They put so many side missions so much things are jumbled in this one area did you guys like that? Like, so many things being jumbled here? Not harping on it, I still love this game and I'm not gonna take away from this area. I, Cause it's part of my memories, but... I don't know, is it blind nostalgia or is it good game design? At a minimum, out of 10, I would give this game a 9. Jack 2 is a 10 out of 10, regardless of the issues it has. For me, personally, because of the nostalgia and what it's done for my life, I have to give it a 10. There's absolutely no way. But... Let's reconnect this beam. And the thing I loved about this beam in particular is because once you... Wow, I missed that one? Did I just leave that there? This beam in particular, you're going to see at the very end. Here we got the creepy uh, fisherman. We should ask the fisherman down by the jungle river if we can borrow his speedboat to zoom on over to Misty Island. Yeah, if you don't have tips on, he doesn't say that. That's cool. Um... We're gonna do it in a second. Let me just get these. Laser focusing. Focusing. Grab these. Grab those over here. I'm hoping I don't miss any precursor orbs because you guys know me. Like, when you miss precursor orbs in, in any collectathon, actually, when you miss any collectible, the pain there is to go and find everything yet again. So, I redirected that beam there, so I gotta go get that one. Um, I think I'm gonna do the Fisherman's minigame first before we finish redirecting the beam. Yes, I know. That's not how I normally do things, but I mean, it's right up there. So we're going to talk to my boy right here. And something that I got to point out is like how unique these characters are to this game. Like every single one of them is a bit of a meme. If you really think about it. And I love the work that went into it. Even the music, like listen to the change. Oh yeah. This is my jam. I can play this at 2 a.m. in the club. I'll be jamming into this. <laughs> what do you have in the basket? Nothing to talk about. Them monsters patrolling the ocean took a bite out of me fishing rig, and now they're gobbling up me catch! 
No matter what I try, I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Woo! Maybe it's your breath. You think you can do better? Try scooping up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power cell if you can catch 200 pounds of them critters. And then I'll let you and Shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. He's want to try the challenge. Are we gonna try the challenge? Yes. There are two types of good fish to catch. One, One pound, pound fishes, fishes and five, five pound, pound fishes. fishes. If you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, take me net. <laughs> oh my god, love it. There are poisonous eels, eels in, this, in river. this river. Catch even a one of them boogers, and he'll poison, poison the whole darn catch. catch. You gotta love this mini game. Adding some gameplay diversity. Look at these fish. They're all grumpy. All of them got this swollen mouth. They're all grumps. I'm gonna catch him. Here comes a big one. Here comes a big one. Okay, no pressure. No pressure. Imagine if they remade this. They might have to slow this down for the next generation because they ain't as quick as us. Oh my god. Steady boy. They complain about this being too hard. Can we pay to get past this level? Where's the microtransaction to get past this level? Oh yeah, you look at me. Look at oh, big boy fishy. No poisonous eels. I like this because it keeps you on your toes. You gotta be fast and the eels prevents you from like oh corner camping can we get this all in one go you just basically gotta slap him around with the net too bam did i miss one? Oh! i never failed this what what, what? wow i jinxed myself you know what you talk crap follow this what you get that's what happens to people that talk crap yeah, you messed up with the one pound fishes. I, I really was on a, a tear there. But then again, I missed one. Maybe I can get the... Thankfully, I don't think it's a trophy to catch all 200. That would have been pretty painful. Some games have some pretty painful trophies, and this game is not one of them. Actually, out of the entire collection, Jack 3 is the pain in the ass for getting the platinum, because some of those mini games are unfair. Or just the, the sheer amount I had to do. Whoa, look at that. Here comes a big one. Like I said, if I have to do this high or like drunk or something, because you guys like the crap out of this video, this is gonna be some something else. Oh no, here comes the run of the poisonous eels. Arg, you cannot camp in the corner. You camp in the corner, you think I'll miss one. That's what they do, they force you for doing that. Steady more, all right. I'm steady. This is crazy. This whole water is contaminated, man. The poison fish is hard. I wonder how many times people would fail this one like in a row. Look at this. This is a rush of big, big fish. You did it! You caught 200 pounds of fish. Not bad for a couple of land lovers. Here's the power cell I promised. And you can use my boat in the village dock whenever you like. I love it. Whatever you like. <laughs> and now he suffers his internal fortitude right here, laughing creepily. He is now known as like the Yeti in the in the jungle. Just every time he crosses bridge. Ooh, cool. It could be crisp. There's a Yeti. Yeah, always doing this creepy laugh. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, oh, you gonna know what I'm talking about in a second. Let me just redirect this beam re real quick. He spends the rest of his years never going back home and just laughing with his fish. Arg, to get away from his wife, yes. But this is the thing I loved about this beam. By the way, that icon looks like a bell. Okay, we gotta cross the bridge. Here he comes, here he comes. Look at this place, though. Even though it's cluttered, like all the things moving, I love all the moving parts. They really pushed it. Creepily laughing for all eternity, man. For all of eternity, permanently. The platform did not work for me. Alright. And the fact that, like, not only is this beam gonna be changing up the world, too, these thorns and everything, everything. Don't touch me, frog! Bam. And the fact that, like I said before, I think I, in previous playthroughs, or at some point in time, you know I like to ramble. Whoa, this frog is demon froggy. 
<laughs> he broke my fall. Um, this beam showing up in that Jack 2 intro, like, bro, I love the fact that you can change part of the world and it still continues onward to everything else. That's something I love about video games. Like, if they do that, I love the world. Like, honestly. And then, boom. Oh, we got the drums. Then they show you an overview of the place and you get to see everything and then... Wow. We should go tell that windbag of a mayor that he owes us big time for connecting the village energy beam. Arg, he's gonna raise taxes, yes. You know how much controversy if I went into politics right now? That would happen with the election year. Oh my god, let's avoid that. Maybe we should avoid that. I'm just saying in New York, you know, I'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm poke some, like, like I, I don't believe, like, any of the people that, uh, that are in government or politics in New York are competent. That's all I'm gonna leave it at. Anyway, let's go down here. We're gonna grab all these orbs, gonna kill this lurker, you know, you touch me, you know, I got these hands, man, you gonna mess with this. Punch this lurker. Was there anything else over here? I'm not sure if there was anything at the end of this, but you know what, I'm gonna go check. I, I highly... Highly doubt it. Wait, was there anything in the waterfall over here? No, that's just at the beach, right? Yeah, I'm Jack. I'm taking a shower. A musty butt is all clean now. We all fresh. Time to pull up Kira's crib. Samos is asleep. He, up he upstairs. Get out of here! How are you banging Kira? Get out of here! I might do a reaction to like 17 year old me playing this game. I want to see what I was like back then. 10 years almost is a pretty long time and damn, I, I, I did grow up right in front of everybody on this this channel, so let's see. Um, part of me is being very indecisive right now, like bro, go back and go open up the vent. Like what are you doing? The indecisiveness, Paul, oh my god. Oh my god, I, I was lost in thought. Okay, give me a second, give me a second, let me get... Let me grab this one and run across the thing and then open it up. Damn, you noob, Paul. He would never beat the speedrunners. Yo, I, the respect I have for the speedrunners in this game, like, I've seen some of these runs. Those guys are absolutely amazing. Like, when I was a kid, I wanted to be, like, the greatest Jack and Daxter player of all time. But, nah, man, these speedrunners, I have so much respect for the precision, the amount they do for these games, like, going through every little bit and piece. Absolute respect for me, man. I love it. And I should have grabbed that before I grabbed these, but... Okay, that's a set. Alright, this one is for the YouTubes. For the gram, we gotta do it for the gram. We gotta go and, um... And try something very risky here. Wow, oh, Jack is like... Buried his face in here. Can I drown? Oh yeah, it forces you to come back up. Damn, Jack got some lungs. Jack got some serious lungs there, fam. But what I was talking about is... There's a sandbank there, and then once you get away from the sandbank, can we go for it? 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 Kick! No! My childhood nemesis. My heart literally used to beat out of my chest. But now that I don't, I know he's just a big purple shark that can't really hurt me. I'm good. But back then, even when I was like doing this let's play for the first time, my heart. My heart would jump out of my chest every time I heard that scariness. I had a phobia of heart. Um. Of sharks. I was about to say hearts. Damn, Kingdom Hearts. But, um, yeah, I had a phobia of sharks. I still kind of do. I love and respect great white sharks and all sharks, but, like, and I go swimming and stuff. I love the beach, but sharks, man, sharks, snakes, I got a huge phobia of. And in video games, every time I saw a shark, I would damn near be in full panic mode, like full on anxiety attack, because that is, oof, it ain't fun. It ain't fun, sharks. Love them. I love watching Shark Week and all. But man. Yeah, we killed everything here. I think we cleaned up most of this area, right? And we opened up that vent over there. So now I'm going to raise the, the bridge. God damn it, Thorn. This was so freaking cool. Like, look at me with my ultra instinct powers. I'm going to jump across the bridge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah, boy, we get this. Yeah, yeah. Well, duh. We didn't just enter this just to not, not go through this. 
Jump across, jump across, jump across, and bam! My power just blows this open because I got Saiyan prowess. And let me not let the camera kill me. Let's go. Naruto Ultra Instinct got that by all. You know, I don't even know what we say to have this time. Naruto Ultra Instinct. What the? What? Oh my god. Was there any other passageway around here? Got a Naruto vent. We gotta smash this open to this power cell. Give me that shit, boy. Oh my god, I, I cursed guy. YouTube's going to demonetize my video now because they don't know which way they're advertising to kids or not to kids. They don't know. Thank you, Susan. Susan, you know you hate me, Susan. Susan, the CEO of YouTube. Go up here. Hey, 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 yo, yo, I'm flying past the thing. All right, that's the smart thing. They activated all three. And right here is like one of the best moments of the game. Like you go right up top. Before you grab this, you take the view in. Like, remember, this is the PlayStation 2. You see Misty Island. You see the windmills moving over there. You see the beam like flickering across here from here to there. You see geyser rock and I think you can still see the geysers going off. You can see the beach. You can see um, the canyon in the daytime. Like look at it. You can see the little bit of fire through there. Over here, it's like filler area. You see the blimp in the swamp area and all the way out there. I think that's Gaul and Maya Citadel, maybe. I don't know. But my god, that's amazing. That's how much passion into this game. You can still respect it 20 years later. Even above me, look at this thing. The power cell, the giant power cell with all the orbs. What a fantastic game. What a fantastic game. You guys, I cannot love this game enough. But anyway, we're going to grab this. And that was the thing about this particular area. We had all this clutter, which is a good or bad thing. We had all these things to collect. We had all these little side missions in here, including the fisherman one, redirecting light. And we have a mini boss fight that unlocks a bunch of stuff in the rest of the world. How crazy is this area? But here we go. It's very ominous. It's very quiet. And yeah, ooh, so the music changes. Here, but you aren't powered up with the blue stuff. So it ain't gonna help us. God damn it, Dexter. Shut your mouth, boy. I really hope I didn't miss any precursors because that's going to be a nightmare if I can't find them all. That peaceful music, man. The music designers of these games. That's something that's super underrated in the world. Like, video game OSTs. Excuse me, like, yo. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. And some of these just go on and get forgotten. We turn you on, Kira. <laughs> you know, right? All right, let me chill. <laughs> let me chill. Toxic masculinity, Paul. You need to calm down on it. I can't. All right, we're gonna grab this. We're gonna jump up here. Oh. Wow. Oh my God! They just try to play me. They just try to play me, boy. Gonna jump up here and grab these orbs. Gonna ninja way to this. Whoa, I almost kicked me back. And here we got a boss battle. Now, there's something I never really paid attention to with this boss battle. It's like, yo, look at those arms. What are those oil barrels? But this has like that Crash Bandicoot type of vibe. And here we're gonna kill his children in front of him. Here, stay right here. Okay, he got a hit. I kind of want to see what the death animation looks like again, just for old time's sake, because a lot of times I don't do these weird things, but. He just like, there's his seed coming for me. All right, I killed your seed. You gotta watch out. Sometimes he goes for an extra attack, and then he wants me to uppercut him in the chin because it's so much disana. You dishonor me, you kill my family. So you get to uppercut my shit. Oh, you going for those bites? And th this is just like some type of Crash Bandicoot vibe. I kind of want to replay Crash Bandicoot, but there you go. You did. And you go fall. Now, back then they encouraged teabagging. So guess what we're gonna do, like a gentleman? Mm -hmm. Yep. Get rubbing nuts all over his head. Yep, yep, yep. Just exploiting 
my dominance on him. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna rub my nose yeah, like that. Ugh. Mm, yeah. That's necessary. That's very necessary. You gotta, you gotta assert your dominance over your, your prey. And, uh, yeah. So basically from this, we've unlocked all the eco vents. We destroyed all the thorns. And... BAM! The power up. I love that animation. I'm gonna jump out of here. And the forbidden jungle is complete. Look at that. And the sun's out. Oof, you gotta love this place. You know, that wasn't as bad, but just like all these extra traps and stuff. Let's get the hell out of here. Whoa, he almost grabbed me on... He almost, the frog almost grabbed my ass. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Survive that. Let me take a look at something. Yeah, that was the weird part about that. Like, one of the power cells here is connected to the mare. And, like, that, those few orbs at the beginning, they're connected to this area, but not because it's after the Forbidden Jungle text. I don't know. That's something that should have been fixed. But can we get a remake? Can we get a remake? <laughs>